Hey guys, today's video is sponsored by Reiboot. If you've ever come across any issues with your iOS device, rather you're constantly stuck on an Apple logo, a reboot loop, a black screen, just stuck, Reiboot offers a standard repair which fix up to 150 iOS issues with no data loss. If you have more serious problems, you have the deep repair which allows you to restore your device back to factory working order and you can enter and exit recovery mode with one single click. So check out Reiboot, links will be in the description down below. Hey guys, Everybody's help here. Welcome back to the channel and happy Labor Day for those of you staying home today, relaxing and enjoy your day off of work and at school as well. So happy Labor Day to everyone here in the United States that celebrates the day. Today, I want to give you guys my follow up on iOS 15 and developer beta 8. I want to share with you guys additional new features and changes that I've come across after using the software for several days. I also want to share with you guys my personal experience with the software. I've been testing, of course, iPad, iPhone 11 models. I did some testing and of of course my primary iphone 12 as well i also want to talk about expected release dates for the release candidate or beta 9 whichever comes first here in the next couple of days and a quick details in regards to apple's upcoming iphone event here in september so the first thing i want to talk about is additional new features and changes apple has now prompted users within the app store with personalized ads and of course personalized ads that will be more relevant to you so if you enable personalized ads within the app store as you can see right here or the Apple News application, you get more relevant ads depending on the things that you search and like across Apple's uh, ecosystem of applications. And Apple just sort of describes how this works and how your data is being protected. So when you launch the App Store, if you haven't gotten this splash screen here just yet, if you're not running iOS 15, you'll see the option to enable personalized ads for more relevant ads. And Apple explains the details as you see right there. Now, Private Relay is one of the features that Apple won't be rolling out on day one with iOS 15, but it is currently sitting in beta. So Private Relay Relay, there it is. With iOS 15 beta 8, I've noticed that within Control Center, once it is active, you get a new icon there on the status right there. The status bar, you get the new private relay icon directly within the status bar of the Control Center when it is active while browsing within Safari. So minor change within private relay. Unfortunately, this one will not make the cut for the official final release of iOS 15, but it is now a new change there within Control Center uh, displaying the icon when your data or IP address is being protected across the web while browsing with Safari. Now, I do want to talk about my personal experience so far with this beta. To me, on iOS 15 beta 8 iPhone 12 has been very good, actually. The only complaint I do have is network connection issues. I continue to have those on the latest beta on iPhone 12. Now, when it comes to iPhone 11 models, I've been testing the iPhone 11 Pro Max, as you can see right here. And uh, many users have complaints in regards to battery. There's various reports that the battery isn't as good on the iPhone 11 as on other devices. Now, I can't really complain in regards to battery. I did use this device uh, to listen to music, also listen to some podcasts, watch some YouTube videos, you know, the normal stuff. And I have to say the battery seems quite a par to me uh, with previous betas, but it isn't terrible battery life. Hopefully the RC or 9 Beta 9 uh, will finally uh, improve the battery overall on iPhone 11. But in terms of performance wise, I don't see any hiccups and problems in iPhone 11 models uh, for the past 24 hours as i mentioned i've been using iphone 11 the only complaint for most users is battery but i can't really say that the battery was a major impact on my testing now ipad os i never talk about ipad os because i'm kind of disappointed at apple with ipad os ipad os has been underwhelming to say the least uh, these widgets don't even have any type of interaction uh just feels like a mobile os on a computer right in my opinion if apple wants this to be a computer it needs to really change uh, the user User experience for iPads or some minor changes for the notes and things like that so you have quick capture notes and things like that but other than that I mean iPad OS just feels like boring old iPad OS in my opinion I love the iPad and the iPad ecosystem it's just it doesn't feel like a computer what Apple uh, continues to tout that the iPad will eventually be in my opinion uh, iOS 15 or iPad OS 15 just doesn't build upon that whatsoever but anyway let's go ahead and talk about expected release dates for iOS 15 RC or beta 9 because there's a lot going on here it all depends 
on Apple's iPhone event. So the iPhone event is rumored to be happening on September the 14th. So let's go here to the calendar and take a look here. September 14th. So if we will get a September 14th event, it means tomorrow on Tuesday, September the 7th, we should get press invitations and Apple will officially announce the event happening a week later. This has been uh, the trend forever. So Apple usually one week before the event sends out invitation, lets everybody know. So if we do get an event on the 14th, tomorrow, September the 7th is when Apple will be sending those invitations and we'll know for sure if Apple will be releasing the software. If Apple will be releasing the software on the event or the at least the RC, then we should see the next RC or beta on the 14th. Now, in previous uh, times, iOS 13, iOS 14, Apple would take a break in between before the event and then release the release candidate during or after the event. So if the event happens on the 14th, don't expect a beta at all this week. Apple will most likely take a break and then expect the RC right after the event on the 14th. If we do not get event invitations tomorrow on the 7th, then that means Apple will most likely not be holding an event and we could expect another beta 9 perhaps for iOS 15. So we'll have to wait and see. It all depends on Apple's next iPhone event. Now you guys have been asking about iOS 14.8. I really want to talk about that quickly here because iOS 14.8 is still a possibility, believe it or not. Apple could still release another software right here on the week of the 7th. So this week, starting the week of the 7th, tomorrow, Apple doesn't work today, it's Labor Day here in the US. So tomorrow, starting on the 7th, Apple could very well release 14.8 and uh, release this software to everyone without any testing whatsoever. So it's a tricky week to kind of tell, depends on tomorrow. So if Apple releases the event invitations, we'll most likely get an RC, uh, a release candidate on the 14th after the event. And if we don't, then we get a beta this week. If not, then we'll most likely also potentially get 14.8. There's a lot riding on iOS 14.8 and, and iOS 15 because those two softwares, according to Apple, will link them together so that users can stay on iOS 14 while still updating the security of their iPhones as if you were running iOS 15. So a lot happening here. Stay tuned, of course, here to the channel. It all depends on tomorrow. So whatever happens tomorrow will dictate if we see another beta, RC next week, 14.8. And by the way, iPhones are rumored to be launching on September the 24th and pre-orders on the 17th. Those are all the rumors. Event on the 14th, the 17th is pre-orders, the 24th release for iPhone 13. We'll have to wait and see. I'm expecting iOS 15 final version to be shipping on the week of the 20th at the latest. So if Apple was to release 14.8, for example, it has to be this week. And if Apple sends invitations for an event on the 14th, it has to happen tomorrow. I know there's a lot of information. Hopefully I made that as clear as possible. iOS 15 developer beta 8 right now. Expect another beta this week if no invitations are sent out tomorrow. If not, RC next week after the event and 14.8 is still looming. iOS 15 is still looming. A lot happening. So stay tuned. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.